Hello everybody and welcome back to part 4 of our Let's Play of Faraday Protocol. Uh, when we last left off we just entered uh, what I presume to be Ziggurat 2. Um, without further ado, let's just carry on. So one thing that I wanted to point out, I noticed that the PlayStation doesn't actually record doesn't look as if trophies. Time has been as kind with this place. Let's hope this thing doesn't collapse while I'm in it. Yeah, the PlayStation uh, share function doesn't record trophies when they pop. So if anyone was watching this and was interested about the trophies and how to get them, um, I will not point out when I get specific, not specifically point out when I get uh, story related trophies. Um, but I have had a look at the, the trophy list and I probably will come back and do a how to on the collectibles, how to find all 18 of them. Uh, and I'll do that as a separate video so you'll be uh, aware that that's a specific trophy. But it looks like everything else is story related. Um, so without, yeah, without further ado, let's just carry on trying to solve these puzzles. So there seems to be a new mechanic in these uh, coloured vent entrances. We haven't seen that so far. I'm wondering if it's kind of like a portal mechanic. Kind of looks like it's going to be a portal mechanic. Oh, we'll see. Oh, we have some blue energy here we can take. Um, we can put it there. There's quite a lot going on in this puzzle. Um, okay. <clears throat> More of this. Yep. So that's... Hmm. Might be facing this way. Try the same on this side. Is that moving that one? No? Oh, it's moving that one, of course. Okay, so you need a blue energy in order to be able to manipulate these proper, properly. We can't touch this one. Um, we can presumably link it to this one to make it easier to change. But we've got this one correct. Um, I don't know if moving, for instance, instance no, okay. I'm sorry, did I just accidentally solve the puzzle? Without even needing to use blues? That's totally what happened. Okay then. So, we've powered something on the other side of there, or maybe above us. Or has it opened this? Well, there's only one reason I could think I'd need that. fired it through there. Where did it go? To there, of course. Uh, so we need a blue energy there. Oh, but of course we can just... Oh, what? Yeah, we can just, we can just take this. And then... Okay. Powered our way up to the next level. So there are two blues accessible in here. And then this goes out onto that bridge which goes across to there. Uh, okay. Just as this one. Oh, I see, it's another one of these. So it's telling us that we need the hourglass symbol, which I just happened to have conveniently done there. So we'll connect this to this. That's correct. This one. Ah, I see. So we need an hourglass and 
dancing burger man. I really regret calling it in that first episode because now I can't refer to it as anything but. That's interesting. Well, now that I've done that, I can surely just... Yeah. So, connect you to there. And you to there. That's one part of the problem done. And that powered something out there. It opened that. Can I get back up here? I think so. I just jump down. Okay. Free orange energy, which we can just take straight through. Uh, bring that back down. Actually, we might need it to be blue. Because presumably we need to keep one side... Oh no. No, we don't need to access that anymore. Because all that was useful for was... Opening this. Yeah, we don't need to go down there anymore. Um... Okay, well we now have three. I'm not sure that's necessary, but... We can take that. This needs to be an hourglass. We now have three here, which is interesting. So what does this do? Just does that one. So what's on this side? The S symbol and the burger man. So if I connect that. Hourglass and burger man. <clears throat> so we literally just need that S symbol, which... Yeah, it's changing that one. S symbol, hourglass. You just need to change one of these. Uh, which we can just change this one, can't we? Yes. So, hourglass. Or maybe I did need to grab that third one. Uh, then we can take this. And that allows us to make that one. There, just like that. Boom. Okay. Now we can't take those back now, so that's that's done. So we now have some energy. The question is what we do with it. Because why would we... Oh, we can walk across here now. So... So that, does that specifically power this, or I press it? It seemed to do anything. Maybe it's something that comes from within this door. Maybe we need to power this by firing into the blue which we could only do by firing from that side. Okay, so we would fire... If we fired this orange energy at this, it reflects into the green tunnel. The green tunnel brings it out here into that green tunnel. And then what is it? Stuck in an endless loop. Hmm. 
part of me feels like I just want to try it. Oh, I fell through. But I did something. I heard the ding. Don't know what it did. Oh, I activated this button. Just open this. But I can't get through here. Because this is powered. But it was powered beforehand. If I press this button again... No, it's permanently depressed. Well... That's actually the only thing I can do with the blue energy at the moment, is take it through here. Oh, I can fire it through to the next room again, using this. We just put some more energy here. Let's just reset the lift. So I have some more orange energy, but I mean... Maybe I activated something else. Perhaps this button now works. It did. Oh, come on, man. I opened this door. I cannot help but feel like that is something that I've missed, but that will probably be a place that I come back to. Yeah, this is going to a completely separate area. I'll come back to that as a secret puzzle. Mm -mm, the drone seems a little bit corrupt here. Okay, what does this puzzle have for us, apart from the fact that half of the room's destroyed? Well, that cable goes along to there and up there. So something up there needs to be powered, perhaps. Uh, okay, always just go through to this room. Three buttons. And a series of strange looking stairs. What else is in this room? Looks like some platforming to be done, maybe. And we have this room here. Another one of these. Um, maybe I missed something in that last puzzle, but I feel like the, that door in that last puzzle was inaccessible unless I did something secret, perhaps. Okay, that was accidental, but you know what? I'll take it. Didn't look like there was anything secret up there. Okay, we we'll just push that button. We've done something. To activate that. I don't remember that being there. Looks like that button must have powered that, but also it looks like there's some element of timing here. The last time I saw lights like this was on a puzzle that controlled this one of these actually. So maybe by powering this and then taking the power away we can control whether it's right at the top or on that lower bit. I like this purple effect but I have no idea what its use is. Well we can't... oh, we can't get through there. But... not going mad. We don't have a source of energy, do we? Ah. We opened up that ledge as well.
Oh. That's not what we wanted. There we go. Okay, so we can access this ledge. What does it actually gain us? Am I missing something? I mean, okay, I can jump down onto here now. Oh! Why would they introduce that as a mechanic? There's literally never been a mechanic before in this game. Just automatically moving ledges. Well, we can drop down here, which gives us a free source of energy. We can't power that, which is... I don't understand. Hmm. Okay, so that is actually up the top. So if we... That just gave us enough time to do that. Did that do anything to this? Oh, it powered it. I see. Which has opened this. Well, that's the only way to go, so up here we go. Just popped the Explorer trophy. So, this door requires what, green, blue and red to be lit, and then these in-between ones Hmm Well, we have two blues we can work with and presumably power them like this and it will affect because currently the button does nothing so what if we just a just a thought here if we were to do like that does it do anything The first one that's going to light up is this one, which, I don't know, if it's between blue and red, it can be blue. So if I press this again, this middle one will turn blue, but if I remove this, it resets that one. Huh. Okay, so what if I turn this one and this one blue and then do this? Yeah, it does it in ascending order, I see. Okay, so we need this furthest M1 to be green. So, we have to make all of them green, right? And we want this one to be blue. So we do that. And then we want the first one to be nothing. There we go. We've got green and blue. Now we just need red. So it's going to turn this one red, this one red this one red. What we need to do now is turn that middle one blue again. If we do this, yep, 
and then there we go I can't take any of the blues through with us but that was that was an interesting one to have these be blank okay good thing the energy wasn't damaged so it looks like these can move up I don't know if there may be what powers them I guess we'll find out so we have a button here rotates the middle one which currently has to be the S symbol You've got the triangles, the S symbol, and the dancing burger man. But we can't change these. We can only change this one at the moment. Interesting. So when that's on burger man. this is raised when it's on hourglass this one was raised when it's on the S symbol does anything happen? it would seem not okay well we'll start with the burger man and presumably Firing it through there activated this. Okay. But we need this one so we can get a blue. So we need to change this to the hourglass. Fire away. We now have a blue we can use. And that's very useful because now we can do this. So the left hand one needs to be the triangle symbol. It's convenient that that was only two rotations. Um, so the S is now two rotations away. What is this? It needs to be the burger man, which is two rotations away. One Two. Easy. So what you might need to do... Ah. There's no way I can re-access that energy, is there? I can take this, which is blue. Oh. And power that. Which gives us another orange to use. Which we can use for what? I don't actually know what the end goal here is. Ah! It's to power this. So, uh, we need to switch this back. There it is. So that's raised up. Fire. That's powered. We can now take this blue. Power that. We have a button. Which has activated the lift. Oh, it goes down. I was expecting to go up, that was really disorientating. So we have two buttons and power we can't access, but it is actually powering the buttons. This button will open up this door. This button powers this, which we need a blue energy to power. So we might as well start with this. I see. We need we need an orange energy and a blue energy to open this. But for now we can only do this, which presumably is locked that year. Oh my word. Okay. Well we're given two blue energies. We can't access any of these. 
this button will allow us to potentially change what, four of them at once. Okay, let's focus on this left hand one first. Going clockwise, Burger Man, blank, triangle, hourglass, S. <clears throat> so, Burger Man, no, that's blank. Burger Man, blank. Triangle, hourglass, and S. Well, let's see what happens. So, connecting here, this will spin both of them. Just those two, though, yeah? Yes. So, this one needs to be triangle, this one needs to be hourglass. Triangle's two flicks away, hourglass is one. So what I might do is do this first. Because now... Nope. Now... The hourglass is two flicks away. One. Two. Hourglass. A triangle. Just like that. This one needs to be an S. That's fine. We can do... There we go. And this top right one needs to be the Burger Man. Okay. So, do they need to be powered when they're in the correct place? That wouldn't be possible. No. So what's wrong? Triangle, hourglass. Is there a... correct way things need to be facing. S, hourglass, triangle. There is a little lip on the surface here. I have a feeling that's what the correct readable position is. So if we just hourglass and triangle Oh and I guess I got lucky that this one is where it, is. it needs to be anyway. So I can convert a blue to an orange energy like this, which is fine because actually at this point do they stay open if I say move this? Yeah that's, that's gone, okay so it's a good thing I left that one in there. So this time Triangle, S, Hourglass. Triangle. S. Hourglass. 
and then this one needs to be Burger Man. You even hear the little sound to know you've done it right. Well, we have an orange. Please say that I don't have to repeat that puzzle. Because that would kind of suck. Okay, we've opened up this. Excellent. Here we go, through to the next level. Or the same level. On another level. Not sure what the point of that was. <laughs> like, push a button to go up these stairs. Like, well, they could have just put stairs in. I guess. Glitching out. It's a bit steamy in here. That's uh, interesting. Can I ride this? Nope. I can just fire this. The way everything just ominously lit up while that creepy sort of tone played was pretty I'm a big fan. That was that was good. Okay, so this is powered and it's powering something all the way up here. Interesting. That's like Okay. Not gonna complain. So if I just push this, boom, lift's activated. Easy, right? We can go up here. Can't cross X if we don't have any blue energy to use. We can freely convert here. Okay. We don't actually know what combination that we need. I'm guessing we'll find that out somewhere else in the puzzle. So if we power this way, lift is offline, we can have these stairs. I'm trying to sequentially do everything so that I don't miss anything, I don't want to stray too far from the path. So this is that combination of colours. It's red, blue, green. That's pretty easy. Red, blue, green. I have to try and remember that. Uh, okay, what do we have here? It actually powers this. It's a bit odd. This is powered by something up there. There's a lot going on in this puzzle. Okay, so... Does this do anything? No, nothing changed. That changes all three of those, but we don't actually know what the combination is. Looks like we need to fire energy once it's over on the other side through there. So the moment we're going to have to hang fire with this one. We can go back down the stairs. Is there anything else to be seen? We Once we have a blue we can power these ledges. Interesting. Red, blank, blue. It will only power the one ledge and open the door. I wonder what the chances are of finding a secret in here. 
probably pretty high. I'm not going to spend too much time scouring around looking for one. So, power this. Up we go. Now we have some power here. We have a blue that we can use. So, that first one was red. I've realized my mistake because it's going to go from left to right. So the first one we need to do is actually, it was red, blue, green. So green was the last one. So we need to do this. This. And finally, Take back that orange energy just in case we need it. And we need to activate these stairs. So I should have solved something in here. Yep, that lift is now activated. Ha, <laughs> and we need a blue energy to cross the gap. Why? Ah, oh, so we can jump on that. Alright. Switching it to an orange was a silly idea, clearly. We can now cross this, not that it matters. Not yet, anyway. Okay, we now have blue and we should be able to just... Through we go. What does this do? I have no idea what that did. Well, there seems to be... It opened that thing. Fantastic. Do we need to convert energy types here? Let's take orange, because I feel like I'm going to need it. Uh, okay. So I'm seeing here that we have to have two hourglasses on the this back row. However, these two are not in sync and they are only controlled by this. But each of them can be separately powered apart from this one. Apart from that one. Okay. Don't know why, I just have a feeling I want to make that one two. And maybe I shouldn't have converted back to orange. My mistake again. I do like this sort of. Not non linear, but. I can't think of the, the word for it, the phrase for it, but this kind of puzzle where you keep having to go back and use assets that you already have. So we need this to be an hourglass, which it is currently. And we need them to become in sync. And if I connect this to this, there we go. They're now in sync. What we need is for this to be a triangle 
and for those to both be hourglasses. What I might be able to do is control this so that I don't have to move those two. That's now a triangle. That's now an S. Easy. It wasn't, but you know. <clears throat> now, now I need it to be an orange. Luckily, however, that should be quite easy to do in here. And now we should be able to just... Okay, we've opened this door. Great. Okay, these are different combinations, presumably on the previous puzzle. Maybe. Uh, let's have a look. Nope. Completely new puzzle mechanic. Okay. So we need triangle, burger man, and hourglass. Okay, we got burger man. We got triangle, hourglass, and S. That was pretty lucky. We do the same thing here, presumably. S, Bergman, Triangle. Huh? Oh, this one is swapping their places, maybe. Let me, let me check. Yes, it is. Okay. So what we need is to switch that, switch that, hourglass and burger man in the correct place, and now I just, boom. It's given us access to some blue energy, and opened up this, but what's interesting is that there is also a free orange to take here. I can't forget about that. Is there somewhere... If only there was some way to access it. Because if I cross this bridge, I can't... Yeah, you can only see it from in here. Maybe that's intentional. So you can't take it with you. So I've been allowed in here with a blue. Why is that important? Could have done this earlier. I need a second blue. Because we need an orange. Oh, but this is activated now. There we go. Cool. Now all we need to do is go red, blank, blue. That should be pretty easy. Need to take that blue energy back. Um, red, blank, blue. So blue is last. No, now we just blank, blank. And now red. Okay. We now have the platforms. We can take this back, connect you to you.
got the autosave icon. Um, I'm going to keep going a little bit longer, just to the end of this bit maybe. So we can take this energy and we can go... <laughs> we can fail to make the platforming. Because everyone knows first person puzzle games are the best platformers. There we go, much better. Did that actually powered a button? Oh, okay. Oh. Right. I uh, missed something. There is a button here. I'm not quite sure how I didn't see it the first time. Okay, that's moved to where it needs to be. Gonna fire into there, which is gonna power this. So, what does the button do? takes it back as energy. Why would I want to do that? I see. I see. So I can actually make this jump. That's why. And now... We can get it across. Test 4 of Ziggurat 2 done. I think that means this is quite a good place to end the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching guys as always. Uh, keep watching for more. I haven't said it before but I'm going to say it now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I know I'm not that popular on YouTube. I'm not that silly, don't worry. Thanks very much again, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.